Hey guys, I just wanted to make a quick video uh, showing you guys how to list a product. I'm going to go step by step of how to list a product in Amazon Seller Central. Uh, for this item, we're going to be listing a product that already has a listing on Amazon. So we're just going to be uh, adding our seller name to that listing and then sending the product in to the Amazon FBA warehouses and they'll fulfill the product when we when they uh when they get it and a customer purchases the item um i'm super excited about this business right now um it's growing pretty pretty quick for us and uh i know you guys could do the exact same thing um you can tell uh or you can notice that our our sales are are coming along pretty nicely um our seven day sales is right around uh right around five thousand close to six thousand six thousand dollars um fifteen day sales is right around sixteen k and our thirty day is uh a little over thirty two thousand so uh, i'm gonna use this channel to uh pretty much show you guys exactly what we're doing and uh kind of go over some of the basic stuff and we'll get in some more advanced stuff um and and kind of expose exactly what we're doing and how you guys can do the exact same thing so let's go ahead and jump right into this video real quick so let's go ahead and add a product so first thing you want to do is go up to your in, log into your seller central uh amazon account and it should look similar to the screen you're seeing right now uh click on inventory and then add a product now this page should pop up um, it's going to ask you to enter in the UPC code uh, you can either scan it in if you have a scanner a UPC code scanner which I do um, but for you guys that are just getting started uh, it's not really uh, a required required item um, it does save a little bit of time but if you're just starting out don't worry about it so let's go ahead and enter it in manually Seven. And for this item, it is a WW Elite uh, action figure. So this is the listing we want to uh, sell under. Um, if you want to make sure this is the right listing, you can always click on See Product Details, and it'll just take you straight to that Amazon page. And you can kind of look at what the buy box price is. Uh, how many sellers are are on this item um and just make sure that's the right listing that 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 you do want to sell under so we'll click sell yours on this page it will show you the uh, list price and the amazon sales rank and now there are two parts on this page that you have to fill out or it won't let you advance so you got to fill out the condition ours is new and we want to go ahead and match the uh, low price of $26.99 so that like the price that was uh, in the buy box and when you scroll down to the bottom it's also going to have two radio buttons. Um, just make sure if you want to fulfill this by Amazon, you select the one that says, I want Amazon to ship and provide customer service for my item if they sell. Um, if you select the other button, you're basically telling Amazon that you're going to keep the product at your office and you're going to ship that to the customer whenever it sells. So basically, you're your merchant fulfilling that item. So we want to send it in to Amazon, let them store it, and then whenever a customer buys it, they'll send it off to the customer. So click save and finish. And it takes a few seconds for it to update. Um, this is the first item we're going to be adding to this shipment. So we want to click uh, create a new shipping plan. And this is just basically going to create us a new a new segment um, for this uh, item 
and then when we go to add our third fourth fifth item into uh, the shipping plan uh, the next time we come back to this page we'll click on add to an existing shipping plan and then we can choose that shipping plan by uh, clicking clicking right in this area and and choose the uh, shipping plan that we're about to create so let's go ahead and create a new shipping plan um, package type this is a uh, our, ours is going to be individual products basically you're telling Amazon that um, the boxes that you send in are going to have different items in them um, if you're sending in all the same item you can select case pack products but that would be if we we're just sending in the action figures and nothing else we would select uh, case pack products but we're gonna be sending in um, action figures some yo-yos um, some other toys along in in the shipment so we're gonna select individual products click continue to shipping plan and here Amazon wants to know your set quantity we're sending in 10 of these so we'll go ahead and type in 10 and just scroll down and hit continue here they're showing you if there's any prep that's uh, needed for this product um, they're referring to uh, if the item needs to be polybagged or saran wrapped or anything like that um, this the this is the page that would show up on but there's no prep required for this item so we'll hit continue here it would show you if the uh, if you need to label the product with your own UPC code or I'm sorry if you need to label the product um, with Amazon's uh, stickers but this one doesn't require any labeling so we're gonna go ahead and continue and here you can see that it broke the shipment up into uh, three separate um, warehouses so we had a total of 10 units three of them are going to uh, Middletown uh, three to Phoenix and four to Chattanooga and this is pretty typical um, Amazon will usually break up your inventory um, and send it to different locations and the reason behind that is they just want to spread out your inventory so that way if somebody on the West Coast buys that product then they have one closer to ship to that customer um, same thing for the East Coast uh, if someone bought one then they would probably uh, pull from uh, maybe that Tennessee warehouse and ship that item instead of shipping the uh, Arizona item um, so you would go ahead and approve the shipment and then you could start working on it so that's pretty much it um, it's pretty simple let me know if you have any questions uh, please leave a comment below and I will answer all your questions and I hope you guys got some value out of this thanks for watching